In recent years, E3 has played host to Microsoft and Sony fighting it out for your attention with high-profile games and cutting-edge hardware. Who won E3 2017 from the two? We tell you. Microsoft's E3 campaign began with a bang thanks to the Xbox One X. It's a sleek looking piece of kit not too dissimilar to the Xbox One S, complete with its own custom cooling solution. Sporting 6 teraflops of power and 12 GB memory, it rightly is the most powerful console ever. Although we wonder why it doesn't support VR, which takes away from some of the shine. More so at its $499 price tag. No India price has been confirmed yet, though the grey market has suggested it would be available for around Rs 50,000 at launch. In terms of hardware, Sony had nothing to show off. Prior to E3 2017, it announced gold and silver color options for the PS4 Slim and a sales event known as Days of Play that saw a range of games discounted both online and offline. E3 2017 for Sony was squarely on the games for the PS4, PS4 Pro and PSVR. Thanks to the $499 price point of the Xbox One X, there's little need for Sony to drop price on its consoles either. While Microsoft played up quantity, Sony emphasized quality. The former showed off over 40 games ranging from true exclusives like Forza Motorsport 7 and Ori and the Will of the Wisps, to timed exclusives such as PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds and Ashen. Microsoft was a bit misleading. It claimed 22 exclusives to the Xbox One and Xbox One X, when in reality it was all of six, with one of them being an expansion to Halo Wars 2. On the other hand, the PS4 had God of War, Spider-Man, Uncharted The Lost Legacy, Detroit Become Human, and Days Gone to name a few, all exclusive to the console, which launch dates ranging from August in the case of Uncharted to early 2018 for God of War. While PlayStation View got a call out just before Sony's event and Microsoft announced the Xbox Game Pass pre E3 2017, the lack of new features for PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live was a bit of a downer. Given how the PlayStation Network is prone to blocking IP addresses with an error WS-37397-9 that requires you to resort to all manner of solutions from changing your router MAC address to obtaining a static IP from your ISP, you'd think that after 60.4 million consoles sold, Sony would fix this. Did we also mention that it's 2017 and Sony still won't let you change your username on the PlayStation Network? No. It rather spend $120 million on marketing Destiny 2 weapons to you instead. Microsoft fared no better in this regard. Xbox Live goes down ever so often, and despite its attempts to get PC gamers to use the Windows Store to access PC games like Crackdown 3, the experience is nowhere close to what it should be, more so with Steam, GOG and Origin around. So who had a better E3 2017? Well, we'd have to say Sony. Despite the utter lack of attention to its services like PlayStation Network and PlayStation Plus, it had enough in the way of exclusive games to justify buying a PlayStation 4. PSVR may not have caught on as well as the company would have liked, but the slew of titles in that department underscored its commitment to the platform. Who do you think had a better E3 event? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at Gadgets360.